Hey guys, welcome to another episode of City Skylines, our weekly playthrough. We've been doing a lot with the metros lately, so they're coming along, but that's taking, uh, we have to do a bit of that each, each episode, I think, that's taking so long. Need to carry on with this uh, freeway, get this going all the way around, join it back up with the rest of the highway there. And see if we can carry on with some city expansion, fill up this area here, see if we can get the, uh, the oil industrial area booming a bit more. Let's go. That new road we put in towards the end of the last episode, uh, they're using that. I checked to see if they're still using the underground one here as well, and they are. So both of these routes seem to be uh, seem to be helping. I'm wondering if this, at the moment, this not seems too bad, but uh, this is going to get this is going to get messy. <laughs> Five point road. There's a need for a roundabout if I ever saw one. Let's do that. So we'll start by deleting the roads. There's a school, I think, right here. That's going to have to be moved. Kind of half done there. Not looking too bad. Make like a question mark. A crematorium to move as well down here. Let's just move that over there. So I'm building this using a highway rather than a normal road. A highway doesn't give you any of those squares next to it, so you can't build next to it, which is fine by me. Um, but I'm building it as a highway because when they come on and off this, they'll just be, they'll use it quick. They'll get on and off using slip roads and they'll use this quickly. And currently this bit isn't a slip road. We need to make it so. We need to make it as such. Okay, so we've connected the underground that goes up to uh, our oil area up there. We've connected that with two slip roads. Just going to try an, a normal two lane road there going up to Oriental Hills. Same with this road, Oriental Hills. Just going to make it a simple two lane road, see how it copes. I think it should be fine. Those two roads aren't going to be as busy coming in and out of there. There's our slip road coming off that way. That's our slip road coming on and off for the left. So we'll take the arrows away, you can't even see it, but you just obviously know you've built it correctly, so it looks okay. So yeah, we can take the arrows away and if it just runs nice. Um, and I've just connected our last set of slip roads down here. I'm going to check none of them have got traffic lights going on anywhere. Now I've done that. Don't like the traffic lights. Yeah, get rid of them. Everyone just stops the traffic lights. For silly reasons, there's no one there and everyone just stops. God, look at this, I don't want them. That just holds, it holds the traffic up. And if there's no traffic lights there, no one crashes, ever. Which is weird, really, because oh yeah, the rest of the thing are realistic in this game, like the traffic and the water and stuff like that, quite realistic. But I think we're good there. So as you can see, it kind of looks a bit weird because um, it's still paused and this is what happens when you unpause it, they look for a nearest road or they just disappear. If they make it to a road, they're good for a while, they're all right again. Well, that ambulance coming out, he's on two wheels. Take it easy, mate. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Because it's a highway, now we'll have to slow down. Where are you, where are you going? Follow. He's got miles to go. Was that the? I felt I, I. I really don't think that's going to be the closest health centre to him is over there. No, there's a health centre right there. Are all the ambulances in use in this health centre, are they? Patients, four of 100, no ambulances in use. 
See, that's just costing that's just costing the, the mayor of the city more money sending an ambulance from across the city just to go all the way over here. You just carry on like that, mate. You'll get fired. Just give me your name. What's your name? Oh, you're just ambulance. Responding to call out the Laurel residents. Well, let's hope Mr. and Mrs. Laurel are in dire need. We got 24 and a half thousand residents. Okay. Thankfully, the bus lines pretty much just adapt themselves and go around the new roundabout. And as you can see, it's running quite well. This little junction here is going to cause problems. I have to get rid of this junction. Make them go round. We'll just make it one way. Things people are still going to stop at this little junction. Just amended this junction here, made it a bit longer, take out the little tiny little junction -y thing that was in there, that's going to cause traffic. Everyone yeah, getting stuck behind those two buses. Any time today, blue bus. This might de do better then as a six lane road. There we go, now we'll have three lanes each side of the road to use. Yeah, this roundabout was desperately needed. This traffic flow now is just much, much, much better. And it's just handled a lot more traffic as well. These have been changed to six lane roads rather than four lanes. I mean, I know there's no metro in this part of the city, so that's not going to help things, but yeah, that's got quite busy. That's because there's no other highway or anything really. I mean, this is probably being used quite a bit as well. I'll have to bring this bit round. Extended our highway all the way up and round there. It's a bit of a long way round. I would have liked it to go through the middle or something like that. Maybe I could put something underground. Maybe I will, starting from I don't know over here somewhere. Or but so we finished that. We just need to do loads of slip roads on and off it. I'll do that now. Okay, so we finished all our slip roads here. We want to make sure with each highway. So the highway going this way, we want to make sure people can get on and off. So they've done that. And the same with the other side. We want to make sure they can get on and they can get off. At fairly regular, regular intervals, obviously not too regular. So where I've done it there, you can see the on and offs, they're not too, too close together. So I raised it up higher here as well. I thought it'd be good just to have it a bit higher, just for a laugh. Uh, made, made it more difficult with the slip roads because uh, made them too, too steep. So at every point along here where needed, I've got slip roads coming on and off. So if you're on this, this lane coming down here, you can get back off and you can get back on the highway. This lane going up, you can get off here and you can get back on again. Um, and I've done that all the way. So here you can get off and on. I haven't done it from this side. I could have done it from this side like I did here and it creates a lot more mess. I wonder if I can change that actually uh, and just have this little thing instead so they can just get onto the other side and then they can choose to get off that way. Uh, I suppose if they get on here and they choose to go over the other side they're going to need another one. There we go, like that. So they can get on here, get over to the other side if they want to, and then just shoot down here. Also have to adjust the pylons a little bit, make them a lot higher to get across. Uh, I'll show you the power grid here. And you can see this bit is isolated, so it would need, would need the power going across there. So we've got the on and off ramps everywhere we need to there. 
and then up here it just goes up here again. So you can see it at height. That's really going to help with the traffic flow. And we'll check up with that shortly and we'll see how many people are now using it because before they weren't even coming down and using these little bits of slippery. They got as far as there. He's, that bus would have been going down here and back up that side, I think. So we'll leave episode 19 of City Skylines there this week as we're just on the verge of doing a major metro expansion. Check out some of our other content. We got some great smite gameplay. I, I get roasted by everyone, but there's still no UK people on it. And even if they were, they'd roast me as well. King, you gotta make a new video. You wanna know what it's called? It's called Don't Be a Cane. It's called All the Mistakes That Cane Makes. Don't Be a Cane. Okay. Yes. We got some great breakfast gameplay. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> That was some hard hit. And at some point in the future, we're gonna release our No Man's Sky playthrough that we're doing. <laughs> oh, you're hitting me. Your laser's coming out of your feet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my feet? Yeah, 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 yeah that's, on, uh, that's my on. superpower. Oh shit, you're about to kill me. Oh, really? Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy, see you again.